Some guy days end like this. How did it get that far? Moi. My sister is here to help. And it's a beautiful day. Hope for the best. It's actually the first time I'm taking my new foil kite to the water. It's also a super light wind day, but that's exactly what the kite is made for. I'm flying the Ozone Chrono V2 18 meter ultralight. When flying this kite at the beach, it actually stays up easily in only 5 knots of wind. Ja, it's erg weinig wind. Ja. Maar de grap is, als je eenmaal gaat, is er genoeg, dan kan ik al voelen. Alleen ik moet het nog leren. Dus ik ga niet zomaar eenmaal. Dat is jammer. Mm -hmm. Ja, nou ja, ik start hem met een down loop. Dan heeft hij mooi power. Suddenly, I am up. No more sound of the water splashing. Just me flying with the wind. And the water is so clear today, it just looks like it's not deep enough. I should be crashing into the rocks or the weed. But uh, no, it's all fine. And before I know it, I get myself away from shore quite a distance. Now I just have to hope I can do the same thing on the way back. But luckily, yes, I'm back on the foil again the other way as well. I'm riding a 90 centimeter mast, so as I get closer to the shore, again, I'm a bit worried I'm gonna hit something. All those rocks and coral look so close.
so I just keep on playing up and down for the next half hour or so. Well, the wind stays pretty nice, maybe about 7 to 8 knots. Then I'm back at my sister here to tell her a little bit about my excitement. And then it's time for another go. But oh well, a very stupid steering mistake means I crash the kite into the water. It did feel on this last water start, the wind uh, gave me much less power than I expected. Maybe that threw me off balance. Anyway, it should still be possible to relaunch the kite of course. So here I'm trying to pull the back lines to reverse launch the kite out of the water, flying it backwards and then make a 180 and up into the wind again. That's the theory. Unfortunately at the same time it looks like the wind has given up on me as well. I can barely even feel it anymore. So here I'm trying to swim backwards to create maybe an additional one knot of wind to try the relaunch. Then I even try to swim to the kite to just put it in position manually without trying to use the lines with the wind effect because the wind is hardly there. So I just uh, lie it out straight facing the wind and then go back to the lines to see if that works. And my sister at that point is desperately trying to swim to come and help but I ended up pretty far away from her so that is taking some time. Anyway, as you can see, I got the kite upright again. I'm back at the lines and now I just need an extra couple knots to make it fly. Because of course it's filled with water, so it needs a bit of wind to get that water going. Well, you can probably guess it now, that wind never came back. And the water starts to look more and more like a mirror. I guess it makes for a nice sunset. After a couple minutes we managed to drift a bit more to shallower waters where we can stand and start rolling up the kite. So there you go, the Ozone Chrono V2 18 meter together with the foil board is an amazing light wind setup, but when the wind drops to nothing, it can be a little awkward. Subscribe to the channel for a more successful kite photo session next time, where I also try some new camera angles. See you!